toy spot we're going to be looking at the Green Goblin from the Marvel Legends Sinister Six box set. Um, up to the point that this set was released, this was the only way that you could get a Green Goblin of the Marvel Legends figure line. Um, the, figure, the figure is good. It has some negative points, but I'll talk first about the, the, the positives at least. Um, the figure, I would say the first and foremost uh, good thing about the figure is the fact that it is his build. It's not a regular Marvel Legends build. The arms and the legs are a little finer on the on the figure, and you kind of get that that nice lankiness that the Green Goblin is is more common to have. Like it, it's not it's not a, like he doesn't have broad legs. He doesn't have anything like that. He's very lanky, and and I think this figure shows it well. Um, the paint scheme isn't too bad. I mean, you get the nice green, you get the nice purple. Very nice, very nice overall. Um, he's got I like I like the I like the belt. I, I think they did a good job throwing that on there as well. Um, now this is my one problem with the figure, and some might disagree, but my one one problem with the figure is the fact that you can actually see his eyes. Some people like that. It, it's more realistic than what you would normally see with the Green Goblin. I'm I'm from the school that I I prefer to the more uh, cartoon looking eyes the more uh, I guess Green Goblin eyes that you would normally see on his mask and uh, this is more reminiscent of the Spider-Man movie I would suppose I don't like the fact that you can see his eyes but I mean aside from that the figure isn't bad uh, he's got his nice uh, hat going on here and in the way of articulation his head does rotate. Um, his head can bend, although it's really tight on this one. He has the shoulder articulation, which I think you can see on the back here, that this part actually can bend out. So you get a nice free range of movement from the character. He has articulation in his shoulders, in his arms, in his hands. Um, he has no articulation in the fingers, and there's a reason for that. I'll get into it in, in one second here. Uh, he has no torso articulation, but he does turn at the waist articulation in the legs, the mid-thigh, the knee. Uh, his foot does rotate as well as his toe does bend. I also would like to point out too, I really like his feet. Um, overall, the figure looks really, I mean, I would consider this to be the ideal Green Goblin body. And uh, just as a comparison here, because I know somebody will ask me here, I'll move this figure aside and I'll bring in the Marvel Legends. Oh. I'll bring the Marvel Legends uh, Green Goblin in. I believe this was from the Onslaught series. And uh, just to kind of give you guys a comparison of, of the two. If you ask me, this is the Green Goblin I prefer more. Even though this kind of has a nicer body to it. So it's nice to kind of have both. So you can kind of get the two different variations of the Green Goblin. But uh, I, th I still like this Goblin I think a lot more. Um, in the way of the accessories to this goblin, he does come with a stand, and I will say of all the Marvel Legends in the Sinister Six set, he actually has the most accessories. He comes with a base with the Green Goblin face. When I first saw this face, I instantly thought of Maximum Overdrive. For those who have seen the movie, uh, you remember that the Green Goblin mask was on the front of the truck. I don't know, for some reason it reminds me of that. He also does come with a goblin glider. Very basic. I mean, there's really not too much in this glider versus, say, the Marvel Legends glider. Although this one, at least you have eyes on it as well, whereas this one's just basic. It's just, just got a flat face here. But he does come with a glider. Um, the figure does stand in the glider really well. Like that. Obviously, I can bend the knees and everything else as well. Um, the surprising thing, and this is what kind of kind of threw me off here for a second, was the fact that his base, when I looked at the base, it, I almost thought, okay, you can peg the character into the peg holes here, or you could peg the glider into it. Now, it doesn't appear, though, that the glider has anything that will allow it to uh, adhere to the stand. So I guess, if you want to have the figure standing on it, 
you know, you can kind of just prop it on top of the base like that. You know, there's not... I kind of wish it could peg in, but, you know, that's not a big deal. I'll take the figure off the base here, or off the uh, glider here. Move the glider and base aside. The other accessories that the character comes with, or the figure comes with, is two pumpkin bombs. And unlike the Marvel Legends pumpkin bomb, which I'll bring the figure in once again, this one was fixed to the hand, and it was more of a accessory, almost more of a practical bomb that you could imagine him really using. Whereas this one is more, more cartoon, more com comic looking. It it has the fire on the end. So um, the reason why his hands aren't articulated, which I was mentioning earlier, is the fact that his he can hold his pumpkin bombs, although not well but he can actually hold them. Um, he also does come with a sash or a man bag. This one's a little dirtier than the uh, Marvel Legends one as well. For some reason the strap is really warped on this one. Now uh, some some reviewers have commented before, as I put this one on here, some comment, uh, reviewers have commented that they don't like the Green Goblin with the bag, the man bag. But I actually, I don't mind it too much because, you know, that's where he carried all his pumpkin bombs and everything else, so it was justified. It wasn't like he was going shopping with his, his man purse. But overall, it's one of the nicest figures of the wave. Um, if you are a fan of the more realistic Green Goblin, this is the one you want to go through to buy instead of the Marvel Legends one. I still am on the on the page that I, I actually like this one a little bit better because it reminds me more of what Green Goblin should look like. But this figure is still nice. And the fact that you do get it in a box set with the other Spider-Man villains is definitely a plus with me. But there you have a toy spot on the Marvel Legends Sinister Six Green Goblin. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.